Hello, this is Glenn with Vectors. Today I'm going to record a quick video on how to connect a Bluetooth device. There's multiple ways to do this and ultimately we're going to get into the settings of the background operating system. In this case it's a Windows 10 operating system so you'll see at some point how we get into that particular Windows screen. Right now inside Trimble Access there's a couple different ways to get there. If you open up any of your projects, any job, you get to this kind of open map screen. This icon here is a flashing auto connect icon. Anytime you click on that, you can always come into here for some shortcuts to your various Wi-Fi radio or in this case, Bluetooth connection settings. And that opens up our Bluetooth screen inside of Trimble Access. So now if I escape out of those and come over here to what we call the hamburger button on the top left and go into our settings and connections and Bluetooth, as you see, it gets into the same exact screen within Trimble Access. So there's a couple different ways to get to that. Once here, as we go into the configuration, this is what's going to take us over to the operating system settings screen. In this case, we have to make sure our Bluetooth is, of course, on. And as we add a Bluetooth device, it will search and scan for Bluetooth. And I'm looking for an R10. I have a GNSS head set up here. It's scanning and will populate in this list as an option here momentarily. And once we have that R10, it'll show our serial number, which we then can then add and connect to. The R10s uh, do use a passcode of 0000, so when prompted, we will We'll put that in and kind of unusual. It hasn't populated yet. Let me hit that one more time. It is turned on. Let's give it just a second here and we should see it. There it is. There's our R10 serial number Trimble. Enter the pin as 0000, zero, zero, zero and connect. And once it says it's paired, we are ready to go. We can simply close this. It takes us right back to our Bluetooth screen inside of Trimble Access. We can pick that rover, or we can add as many as we want using that same method. One for the base, one for the rover. And you hit accept, and you can now see it will connect to the receiver. And we're good to go. Acquiring satellites. And that's it. And that's how you make a Bluetooth connection inside of Trimble Access. Thank you.